everyone and welcome to yet another episode of click with me today we are in the middle of nowhere but our enthusiasm to create art haven't died yet so let's create some art and click with me Today we will see how to create a bi-directional optical illusion photo portrait. So let's jump in. Let's begin by clicking two photos, one looking towards the camera and one 90 degrees away from the camera. Go to the select menu and click select and mask. Again click select and mask. You will have a clean selection as long as you have a good distance between the subject and the background. Go to the output to menu and select new layer with layer mask. Hit OK. Go to the tab which has the frontal view of the portrait. Again the same routine. Go to the select tab and click select and mask. Hit the select subject button again. Go to the output to menu but this time select new layer and press OK. Switch on the background layer and hit D on the keyboard to get the default configuration of the color palette over here. Now press command delete in Mac or control backspace in Windows to get a plain white background. Go to the other tab, select the select tool, hold the image and drag it to the first tab. Let go and center the image. Drag the first layer below the second layer. And now hold the mask of the top layer and drag it to the layer below it. Switch off the top layer. Click the link icon so that we can adjust the mask and the layer separately. Now select the layer window and hit command T on Mac or control T on Windows to transform the image. Move and resize the image such that you get a rough perspective of what actually the final image would look like. Next, you switch on the top layer, add a layer mask and hit command delete or control backspace to fill it with black color. Select the brush tool, set the size to 90 pixel, hardness to 0%, opacity 100 and flow 100. Paint on the nose and the forehead area so that they look like they are looking to the left of the photo. Use the spot healing brush tool to sort out the defects and color difference in the skin near the nose and the forehead. Also use the spot healing tool to address the skin defects and dark circles. Merge all layers and give a final touch up to all the skin defects remaining. Crop to the desired ratio and voila, there you have it, you've done it. So this was all about how you create a bi-directional portrait. Hope you enjoyed it and if you are new to the channel, do not forget to hit the subscribe button which is down below and do share it with your fellow photographers if you like the video. Do keep clicking and until next time, stay safe and click with me.